Happening today, steps are being taken to ban most types of e-cigarette cartridges, all in an attempt to crack down on vaping, but one of our U.S. Senators feels what's happening now isn't enough. Channel 3 Eyewitness News reporter Evan Zameros joins us live from outside the Legislative Office building in Hartford, where Senator Richard Blumenthal will be speaking later this morning. Eva? Well, good morning. Senator Richard Blumenthal has really led the charge on this, doing what he can to ban e-cigarette use, especially among teens. Now, just last year, there were more than 2,500 confirmed cases of vaping-related lung injuries here in the U.S. And the Centers for Disease Control and Prevention say at least 55 people died. To prevent further injuries and deaths this year, the push to cut back on e-cigarette use continues. Recently, the Trump administration moved to ban most flavored e-cigarettes. Now, while the administration says fruit, candy, mint, and dessert flavored vaping cartridges will be prohibited, tobacco and menthol flavors get a pass. And tank-based vaping devices sold primarily in shops will also be allowed. But Senator Richard Blumenthal says more has to be done. That's why he's teaming up with health officials today to demand an immediate ban on all flavored e-cigarette products. Now, Senator Blumenthal will be speaking here at the Legislative Office building in Hartford at 11 o'clock this morning. I will have much more on this story coming up in our next half hour. Live in Hartford this morning, I'm Eva Zamaris, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.